Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Abby's freaking out. I have OCD and I just took B6 and now I'm freaking out and thinking that I'm gonna have a seizure and die. Sorry, you don't feel good. Abby was feeling fine. I think in her last video, she was like, I'm I great. was like, so great. I have no sickness. And then, like, two days later, I'm like, <laughs> so I'm not doing my makeup because I'm just not about that lifestyle anymore. I'm just not about Who it. Needs makeup. You're beautiful just the way you are. Thanks, baby. But basically, I was like super nauseous for two days, and then I'm doing the B6 and Unisom, which is supposed to help morning sickness. And I've been taking these B6 like candies for nausea, mm -hmm. and then since I haven't been too nauseous today, I had to take B6 pills, and I hate taking pills. I have like a panic attack when I take pills, so I've been freaking out that like this pill is gonna like make me die. It was a, it's a 25 milligram pill, and it's like organic. It's like a good uh, pill, no. and she had to split it in half too. Because it was too much. Baby is making arms right now. <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Oh, cool. Hi! Okay. Look at this app. You can poke it and it'll and it move. <laughs> Before Abby got pregnant, I used to get annoyed when people would be like, my baby's the size of a blueberry. And my baby's like, the size baby, of a blueberry. My baby, my baby, my baby, my <laughs> baby. What are we doing today though? Today we are not doing anything. And we I mean it when I say that. Relaxing. Today we are relaxing. We've been, well, I was gonna say, we've been doing so much, but we really haven't. <laughs> I was like, we laid in bed until like 10 a.m. today. No, I think it's good for- We did a lot know. yesterday. We replanted some plants. Mm -hmm. um, but today I just want to chill because I don't want to overwork myself. Yeah. I think it's good for you to relax. We went to see the midwife yeah. that we will hopefully, probably be using. And she said something about how you're like basically running a marathon right now. Right. But so. we signed the paperwork with her. So I'm officially mm -hmm. going to shoot for a natural birth at a birth mm -hmm. center, which is kind of scary. But I can do it. I can totally do it. And worst case, she is like so nice she even said like worst case if we go to the hospital and you change your mind like mm -hmm. she'll come with you and like yeah. walk you through everything they're doing so mm -hmm. feeling good about my decision she's yeah. really nice and she told us we can film in there so Which you guys can see it good for you because i don't think the hospital lets you film no. we need to document this baby popping uh -huh. out well uh -huh. i don't think you guys want to see it Actually we're gonna go close up slowly no. peeping no. out i don't no, know how no, it works no. okay this is my belly i really feel like it's getting like bigger and rounder like i wake up with it like more round it's a lot of bloat to too. I just had lunch. What did we even eat? Potato salad and pesto. I'm like not going downhill at all. Also, let me show you one of our plants because we've talked about our huge um, plant before. This one, you remember, it was coming all the way onto this table. It was like giant. We did something. Basically, this one had a baby and it made this little one. Isn't it so cute? So this cute. is the new newest member of the family. I also like how this it's more supported. This baby one, I don't know why. Mm. So the leaves stand up straighter. I feel like it'll be easier to like put around the house. And here's my baby bump. Look at that, look at that little. It's probably, it's like the size of a blueberry right now. So it's in there like this. I'm eating some frozen blueberry. Oh, geez, we're not having twins. A little blueberry. A little chocolate covered blueberry. Yummy. Okay, go sit on the couch. Here, this baby blankie. by Kira blanket has been my saving grace throughout this pregnancy process. Back to Kira from baby by Kira. This video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by Kira. So what do you want to watch on the TV? We don't have a TV in this room. <laughs> it's in the bedroom. <laughs> Let's move it in here so Abby can watch her TV shows. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> well, what do you want to watch? You never let me watch Walking Dead anymore. <laughs> right, Dean? It's too stressful. And then we were watching Hoarders last night, <laughs> and normally the episodes are gross. They're never like, yeah, that person's fine. Like, their toilets are always gross. Mm -hmm. But the one that we watched last night, we literally had to turn off because yeah. it was that bad. It was really bad. So. Hoarders is off limits now is what we're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, it was Hoarders and Walking no Dead. No wonder I've been feeling sick. Yeah. But you know what show I always like? I love the show Catfish. I don't know why. You've been watching so much Catfish. You have been. And I'll tell you why. Something uh. about Neve from Catfish just calms me down. I don't know why. He's yeah, so and he's nice and I love <laughs> Neve. Like, we stand, but also, like, we watch it 24-7. Okay. Can you go get me some ice cream or something? Ice cream? Yeah. You want ice cream? Something. I just want snack. You know what I actually want? What? That I need ingredients for that salad. Abby found a salad on TikTok and she's obsessed with it's it now. It's so good. I can go get that for you. Do you want it now? I'll go get it for you since wow. I'm a good wife. Let the moment be recorded. This is why I'm filming right now that I am a good 
wife. You've always been a good wife. I only ever do things so that people will think that. I'm just kidding. I'm a good wife to you even when we're not filming, right? This is the worst angle. Can you like not? Okay, bye. Love you. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just like get myself so tangled up with like, I don't know why I don't take my bag off when I get in the car. Cause then I'm like have my bag strap and my seatbelt strap. There's somebody that's walking right towards my car right now. mask up and i'm not gonna bring the camera in with me because i'm paranoid about getting germs on me and touching things and so it's just another thing to have to clean off and i don't want to so i'll catch you when i get back guys i wanted this to be a smooth drive ah! I, I got in the car and i freaked out and i turned the car on because it was hot and the ac flew blew the spider oh my gosh this is a shit show abby's probably gonna edit this out i got I don't like killing spiders, but it's scary. Maybe I can get it out. The things I go through for my pregnant wife. I'm back. Who's back? It's me. I'm still in the same spot you left me in. That's not surprising. <laughs> so since Julia got all the ingredients, I'm gonna start cooking it because you're supposed to leave it overnight, but I want it now. So I'm gonna make everything and then have it sit in the fridge. It's literally so easy. It's just like lettuce, bacon, egg, tomato, peas. Ah, it's really good. So I'm gonna start that. Thank you to this honeyest for being the best wife in the world. Yeah. I had to deal with a spider for you. Was it big? No, it was really small. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well now we can finally watch something since Julia won't let me watch Walking Dead. I'll have to figure out something else to watch. Are you trying to throw shade at me? Yeah. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm trying it. to throw a lot of shade, <laughs> actually. Because then it's going to take us an hour to even find something on here. All right, fine. Let's just watch Walking Dead. Are you going to enjoy yourself? Yeah, I'll be fine. We've had like a several day break, so I think I'll yeah. be able to handle it. We're on episode three, or season three, episode seven. Mm -hmm. Abby's taking a walking dead break to eat her salad. Let's see what's first bite tell ya. Mm. Is it good? good? In one of our recent vlogs, we said that Frank was being grumpier lately and a bunch of people commented saying that he probably knows that Abby's pregnant and he's like jealous and so he's like acting out because I he's jealous. I honestly feel like that's true. Yeah, I really think so too because he's, he's been really grumpy lately, but it, it's like, yeah, it seems like there's a reason. I think that's it. I think he can sense she's pregnant. So Abby's starting to not feel very good again, so I thought that I would run her a bath, since baths are like the one thing in this world that makes her feel good when she's not feeling good. But I walked in this bathroom to do it, and it's a freaking mess. There's stuff everywhere from when we were getting ready this morning. I'm gonna quick clean up, and then I'm going to run her the bath so that she can feel better. Because you can't feel good if you're in a messy space. Baby, I started up the bath for you so you can relax. Thanks, baby. I love you. So it's time for phase two of help Abby to feel better. I don't know, I, mean, I feel like I can't like fix it obviously, which sucks because I want to fix everything. I can at least make her more comfortable, right? I'm gonna look at this mess, look at this. I'm gonna clean up the living room and we're gonna watch something happier. Like, no offense to The Walking Dead. Why do we keep talking about The Walking Dead? It just stresses me out for some reason. And I feel like if we watch something happy, then maybe it'll like put her mind in a better place. And when your mind's in a good place, your body's in a good place. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna get it cozified. I'm gonna bring out her pillows, her blankets. She was saying she wanted to take a nap. So I'll make sure the area is conducive to a napping environment. Maybe I'll get her some PJs. Who knows? Stay tuned. Whoop. likes it when Frank's in his little PJs and it's my personal opinion that these Halloween PJs are the cutest on him and I'll show you why. Look at this little pumpkin butt. Frankie, you got a pumpkin butt. 
That's a pumpkin booty, Frank. So I'm hoping cute Frank will make her feel better. Um, and then I think I'm gonna light a candle too. I think you're not supposed to have like paraffin wax or you're not supposed to burn paraffin candles. I don't think you're ever supposed to eat paraffin wax. I don't think you're supposed to burn paraffin candles when you're pregnant. Some of our subscribers sent us these candles. They have a company that makes soy candles um, and they smell so good and Abby loves them. So I'm gonna burn this one. This is the lavender scented one. I will leave their Instagram link in the description if you guys want to check them out because they're awesome. Dean I'm not going to put in footy pajamas because she hates footy pajamas. Um, Frank doesn't mind them. In fact, I think he likes them. Look, he's so tired already. He gets so cozy when he's wearing them. But Dean hates them. She thrashes all over the place. So I won't put you through it, Dean. I love you too much. Look who's emerged. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? I don't feel great. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. I have a cozy little situation. Don't mind my hair dye towel. Has hair <laughs> yeah, I got you a, so a cozy little setup here, and here's your clothes. Why Frank so. in, in Halloween pajamas? Because they're the cutest pajamas we have. You give them a pumpkin butt. Oh. Show the viewers what you just told me that you think the baby's doing. Well, it, every time I'm sitting and then not moving, and then I get up and walk around, I get this like cramp. It almost feels like period cramps, but it, it's like a little different. I feel like, like what is it doing in there? Like, <laughs> Frank, hi. Frank is cute. You're cute. All right, time to watch something for like the third time today. <laughs> Good night. All right, it's a couple hours later. I'm talking quietly. I hope you can hear me okay. Abby's asleep right there and I don't want to wake her up because I know that she's so tired and pregnant. Today's post notification shout out goes to Joanna Mendoza. Thank you for turning your post notifications on. We love you. If the rest of you people would love so like a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is turn on your post notifications by clicking that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and then leave a comment letting us know you did it and you might be in our next video. Thanks for watching. I always end these awkwardly when I'm by myself. I don't know why. I, like when Abby's here, I can do it normal, but now I can't, so bye. Thank you.